Alright guys, I am on my way to some board sites near my house. Um, I'm gonna go looking for milk snakes right now. That's primarily the target. We got a ton of rain the other day and it's awfully cool and crisp out right now, which should mean snakes are gravitating towards cover, at least in my mind. We're gonna go see if I'm right and uh, hopefully there's something to show for it. So I'll let you guys know. All right, so uh, sun is setting, as you might be able to tell. So the light comes through the uh, trees on me here, but I have like 30 minutes till dark, if that. So I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna get right to flipping some stuff. All right, so literally under the third thing I flipped is this really nice little milk snake. And look at the thick black and that broken band. The dots on the head. I mean, this snake is reminiscent of like a coastal plains milk snake. Low bands, that's really cool. I've, I've never seen a milk from this particular site, but this one's looking pretty good. Check this guy out, this is super nice. I mean, look at that snake. That's just phenomenal. I might need to grab a couple camera pictures of this guy or something. It's just too nice. It really does look almost like a Coastal Plains milk. Just a little bit high of a band count, but holy smokes. That's so nice. What a nice little snake. Super coastally looking, honestly. Especially this area, the front half of the snake. I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, so I'm going to let this little guy go back under his slate and keep flipping. He's not going in there. Hopefully this little buddy will continue to warm up under here. There you go. Literally two boards later, I just flipped another milk. And this one is gorgeous. Holy smokes. That's an amaz another amazing looking little milk. It's beautiful. Oh my God, look at this thing. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. Holy smokes. I didn't even bring my camera out of the car. But like, look at this milk. Holy smokes. It's less coastally looking than the last one, but it's stunning. And it's teeny. Oh my gosh. That's just absolutely beautiful. Like, holy smokes. That's gorgeous. You're kidding me. Next piece of wood and there's another. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip the rest of these wooden planks because holy milks are popping. <laughs> these are fresh hatched, I think. I wanna get this flip on camera, but I'm running out of hands. Look at this. Two gorgeous baby milks. That's awesome. The first one I found was not this year's young. It looked like last year's, but these are both this year's young. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful that is. That's phenomenal. I'm gonna get some pictures of this. This is just so cool. Oh my gosh, the light is dying, but like, these are such beautiful little red eastern milk snakes. I mean, oh my gosh. I just can't get over it. These are amazing. Super nice colors and whatnot. They're just absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna let them go in a second. Let's look at these two before I let them go. That is just amazing. Oh my gosh, I need to grab another picture of that. All right, there goes that guy. All right, you guys just saw that other one released himself and we letting this one go right back under here, under his plank of wood. And we're gonna keep flipping. This is freaking amazing. I don't know if I have ever been itchier in my life. I'm leaving this spot, but I just got lit up by mosquitoes while taking little pictures of those milk snakes. I just took phone pictures because 
I'm in a rush. I probably have like 15 minutes before it gets dark. And with how good it's been, after flipping like a couple pieces of cover and getting like three milks, I need to get to some other boards ASAP. So I'm gonna get going. It's got majorly grown in, but my board is down under here. And it's kind of hard to tell under here if I got anything. Oh, looked right past that garter snake right there. Uh, we're gonna leave that fellow as is. And I'll put this back down gently so we don't hurt him. Oh, my boards are so hidden now. Let's see. Um, I don't see anything. More sunlight, so maybe it's a little warmer. Looks like we have a garter snake or two. This one's pretty deep in shed, as you can see from these blue eyes. And then there's a more colorful one right over here, but I'm just gonna, again, put this down gently and leave these guys alone. Another big garter, also in shed. See right there. All right. Same drill as last time. <sighs> Race against the clock here. I've got five minutes to get to my next spot. And as you can tell, it is getting dark quick. So hopefully we get there before it's too dark. It's literally become a jungle. Gotta find my cover in here. I laid it a while ago. There's a garter and a baby garter. Look at that tiny little guy. Nice. Not seeing anything else. I'm gonna move this little guy. Come on, get out the way. It's like some rodent nests. Lots of rodent activity, it seems. Let's see, here's a big rodent's nest. But I don't see any snakes. Spiders. Our last one, I'm gonna turn this light off and see if you guys can see. Yeah. So, low visibility, sorry about that. But our last one that was layered tin had some snakes under it, and this stuff's all new, so. Ooh, check that out. Nicely coiled little garter. Pretty neat. I'm gonna have to get him to scooch out the way for a second here. Oh, he's just chilling, I'll put him right there. I'm gonna see what's under this bottom layer. All right, I'm not seeing anything. All right, so navigating through this waist high stuff to get back, but uh, looks like I'm just about out of light. I might hit one more spot, but this is probably it for the night. All right, so uh, it is the next day after last night's successful but very short outing. And I am a little further south um, in some more coastal plain, xeric type habitat, meaning it's a lot sandier here. Um, and I'm going to be looking for some snakes. Uh, definitely less of an abundance of snakes here, but potential for some really cool stuff. So I'll let you know how I do. We're going to start off by doing some tin flipping. First snake of the day is a freaking smoker of a little hatchling milk snake who's trying to chomp into me right now. This will focus. 
Oh my gosh, this thing is beautiful. What a gorgeous little snake. That's so, so nice. Holy cow. I'm just killing it with the milks in the last 24 hours. This is super exciting. <laughs> I'm going to take some pictures of this guy and then we're going to let him go. I can tell you this is going to be a good weekend. I don't want to jinx it, but I mean, oh my gosh, this is pretty awesome. I'm really excited for the rest of today and tomorrow. Gorgeous milk snake. So awesome. For size reference, here's this little guy next to a quarter. What an awesome little milk. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go and uh, we're gonna keep looking. Bye, buddy. All right, let's keep looking. common foe. We have quite the puddle in front of us and uh, we're gonna go for it here. Put the camera on the dash if you guys are entertained by this kind of thing. And uh, yeah, let's go for it. Probably a little bumpy from your perspective, <laughs> but that puddle was more of like a product of the rainwater, not someone digging out a rut, so it was pretty navigable. But uh, anyway, we're gonna keep looking. All right, here's an interesting sight and a good reminder, be careful. So check this out. Just lifting this shingle pile right here. And look at that. Black Widow Spider. Pretty venomous species of spider. Let's see. I'm glad I didn't see a flash of red and grab for it. <laughs> Not that that would actually happen. But, um, yeah. Gotta be careful. Put this guy's home back together and uh, keep looking. All right, so um, a considerable amount of the day has passed since that coastal, and I haven't really seen much else. Once the sun came out for a while, I think most snakes kind of got to where they were just meandering about the forest and doing what they're needing to do. Um, so I didn't see much. I saw a racer um, that got away, which is fine. And now I'm just kind of cruising around on some sand roads and seeing what I might turn up if anything crosses, but I'm not going super hardcore. I'll probably just start flipping when it cools down again. So I'll let you guys know how things unfold.
All right, so it is much later in the day and we were going through a shingle pile and at the very bottom was this little king snake. It's pretty awesome. Definitely a nice surprise to end the day with. Did not expect that after uh, our Lampropeltis success that we're already having in this video, but super excited about that. Definitely pretty neat, unfortunately in shed, but can't complain. Cool little age king snake, and uh, we're gonna take some pictures of it and then let it on its way. Super sweet. Nice little chain link pattern. And there he is trying to rattle his tail. Imitate a venomous snake. Do you think that's like confirmed what they're doing or is that kind of like a theory? I think it's pretty confirmed. You got mosquito on your leg, Justin. All right, here this little king goes into some uh, into some junk where we found him, and uh, we're gonna keep looking for stuff. It's getting dark soon, though. I got like these ones, but I didn't get. Any of these? Cricket burrows. Well, <laughs> cricket burrows. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Wait, what? Da da da! <laughs> I had to do it to you. <laughs> All right. So um, after that king snake, it got dark. We've been going around for a little while. Justin's playing with a garter snake right there, which is. Not as common in the really Zeric habitat of the coastal plains, so it was somewhat of a surprising find. He's gonna photograph it. But more importantly, by my standards, he flipped, this time, a coastal that's not fake. <laughs> so, pretty excited about that. It's a very, it's very pretty, but it's a ve also a very Easterny looking coastal, meaning that it looks Kind of like, in some ways, the eastern milks back up north. Um, though it also has a bunch of, uh, of traits that are typical of the coastal plains milk snakes that are down here. So, super, super neat. Really pretty snake, regardless of whether it looks like either variant of the eastern milk snake. And uh, we're super excited to have found this, so. We're gonna take some pictures and uh, and then we're gonna let it go soon. But this has just been an awesome 24 hours for milk snakes and and a king snake and yeah, so cool. All right, for those that are interested, here's a better look at that garter snake. Just a quick quick look. Not a terrible looking snake by any means but we're gonna let it go because we're kind of busy milk photographing because that can take priority. But yeah, not a bad find for the coastal plain. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, they do stupid stuff sometimes. <laughs> Why is he going He's so He's just hard? going up. Stop that. Uh, no, no, you can't go <laughs> vertical. <laughs> All right, we're letting this little milk snake go back into the uh, concrete we found it under, and there it goes. Cool. So we ended up sleeping out here. I was too tired to get my camera from the car. I accidentally left it in there. And uh, yeah, sun is rising right now. And uh, we're gonna start looking for stuff soon. It's pretty cold out, but hopefully, 
get some energy soon. We're about to pull a lube wire and crank some Red Bulls, so. <laughs> so that's that. We're in deep. Cheers. <laughs> All right, so first snake of the day is this little worm snake. You'd think it's actually a, a real worm, and he is cold. It's a chilly morning, which should work in our favor. But check this little guy out. You guys have seen plenty of these before, I'm sure, on the channel. Oh, just, <laughs> just got in focus for the poop. See my wonderful fingernails. And pretty neat. We're gonna put this guy back down in the grass here. And he's just gonna burrow right in. And then we're just gonna gently put the board back down. Keep flipping. Oh. Alright, so second snake of the day. Very big black racer. He's gonna go right up your sleeve. <laughs> I don't know how to handle snakes. Oh. <laughs> don't point that thing at me. <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture. Yeah, that thing is pretty big. All right, yeah, huge, huge racer. Pretty cool, good way to start the day. He's cold, he's cranky, but uh, luckily he can't do much because he's a little, a little too chilled out from the cold temperatures, but good sign that we might get some snakes if we keep flipping, so uh, we're gonna get after it. I live here. <laughs> I'm pretty scared. <laughs> Yeah, exploring trash sites in the woods is always a little strange. We don't know what we're walking into, but I don't like it. a little bit creepy. I don't like it. All right, let's keep going. Shed racer right here, hanging out. You can see he's rattling his tail. I'm gonna put this down before he moves and let him keep doing his thing under here. Those are all ticks. So are those. Alright, check out the water this kid is drinking. He got nursery's finest. <laughs> nursery's finest baby water from a target. It's and baby season. It's baby season for snakes. <laughs> Was it good luck? I don't think so, because no. we didn't find any babies, but we found cool snakes. But that water tastes horrible. They put like floor what in it? Like floor it's a lot of think, or, Yeah, it's it's, it's gross. It has a weird taste and now that it's warm it's even grosser. Yeah. I don't know. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, a lot of the day has passed today with very very little to show for it. And I thought it was a great idea to bring Alex's very small car because I thought it wouldn't get hit by branches out to a narrow road. And on our way to the narrow road, we had to pass through some sugar sand and his car is front wheel drive and we had to spend an hour digging it out, but get it, got it out. On the way in, we passed some junk, carpet, etc. And I said, like, oh, we'll flip that on the way out. We went, got my truck, which with ease cruised over <laughs> the sugar sand and we're passing this junk again. And I was like, you know what? Should we just go out and flip this real quick? And lo and behold, under a little piece of carpet is one of the nicest milks I've ever seen. This is like one of my favorite I've, I've ever seen. Its face is white. I'll show you guys up close, but this is incredible. Unreal. Look at this thing. Like, holy smokes.
Yeah, this thing is pretty much flawless. I love these like little aberrations and stuff. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. And it's like fairly decent size too. Cool. When like the bands are completely straight, you know? Like these ones are crooked, but like when they're just straight across it, like it makes it seem even more like SKE. Yes. It seems like most of the ones like milks that you find up here, like the bands are never straight. I like unstraight bands. It's one of my okay. favorite yeah. features. Okay, well, we are going to take some pictures of this thing and uh, let it go after having some fun playing with it. But oh my god, what an incredible snake. That is just absolutely ridiculous. I'm like kind of shaking. What a redemption snake. Mm -hmm. One more look at the snake, we're gonna go let him go. Oh my god. One of my favorite milks I've ever found. This thing is incredible. Get letting this snake go, and he's gonna find his way. Probably probably down into the duff. That's good. Going under the pine needles. Here he goes. All right, sweet. We are going to keep looking for a little bit, but can't really ask for much more. <laughs> All right, so we uh, we flipped a bunch of junk since that coastal, because that really skyrocketed our hopes. And we haven't seen much else. Yeah, our hands are just like, I don't know if you can tell, but nasty, which is what happens when you're out looking for stuff often. Um, so I think the move is probably like, food or something now and chilling out because I'm pretty happy with that snake. Thoughts? Yeah. All right, so I'm on my way home now and I think I'm gonna wrap this video up, but pretty awesome little milk hunting session that I had the past couple days and it was a fun camping trip, but I am super, super tired and uh, not willing to stay out there in the tick infested coastal plain any longer. So fun videos coming up as more snake babies are being born. So look out for that. It should be pretty exciting and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.